In this video, we are going to go over our next learning activity. In this case, we are going to try to insert a new product line. So the form for this product line should look like this. We add a new product line to the database. We're going to insert text here to indicate the name of the product line. We'll click Submit, and this should either do one of two things. It will either insert the product into the database, and then it will display a message saying that this was successfully done or it will say that the product line already exists. So in order to do this, let's go to the server. So here on the server, I'm going to create a new file and we'll call it newproductline.php. And then we'll go ahead and edit this file. So to begin, we're going to start by creating the HTML page. So we have a doc type of HTML. We are going to then open our HTML. We will open our head and inside the head we'll have a link to our main.css so href equals main.css and this is going to be a style sheet and then we'll have our body and inside the body we'll have a div a class container and this is what's going to generate the white block we see here on the right where all of what's displayed to the user will be presented so inside of this, we're going to have an H3. This is going to say uh, something indicating to the user that we are going to add a new product line to the database. Then after that, we're going to have a form. And this is going to have a method of post. And inside this form, we're going to have two inputs. First one is a text box. The second one is going to be a submit button. So the first one is type of text and we will then give it a placeholder. So in this placeholder is going to say, enter the name of a new product line, dot, dot, dot. And then we will give this a name of product line. All right, then our input is going to be of type submit. And we will give this a name of submit. So we can see here on the right, we now have this text box and this submit button. At this point, we should be asking ourselves, do we have any drop-down menus that need to be populated from the database? If we do, we need to start the PHP and create the query that would then populate the drop-down menu. But as you can see here, we don't have that. So all we need to do is just create the PHP that would insert the new product line. So let's go to the top of the page and create that PHP. So we'll start a PHP and close it. We are going to have a message ultimately displayed to the user. This message is as we indicated on the slide. So since we're not going to run anything when the page initially loads until the user has submitted the form, we're going to check to see if the form has been submitted by saying if is set dollar sign underscore post. And then we'll close the double parentheses there, open our curly brackets, close our curly brackets. So what are we checking to see if it is posted is the submit button. All right, I'm going to go ahead and copy this because additionally with the submit button, we actually are submitting a product line name. So I'm going to say the post of the product line, which again matches identically down here. I'm going to store this in a PHP variable called product line. Now for PHP variables, they don't allow dashes because that assumes that we're subtracting. And just to differentiate it from our HTML product line, I like to use camel case, which means lowercase, capitalize the first letter, lowercase, and so on. So since we are going to try to insert into the database, I'm going to require once the connection to the database. So we created that db.php file, and that's the one that I'm going to bring in here. What we want to do first is check to see if this product line already exists in the database. So I'm going to create a query, and this query is going to check to see if the product line already exists. So I'm going to select name from product line, where name equals whatever has been submitted, which in this case is going to be our product line up here. All right, so what I need to do to actually execute the query is I'm going to prepare and execute it. Prepare the query first, then execute it. So in order to prepare the query, I'm going to create a statement that is going to use the connection to prepare the query. And we'll just pass in the query as the variable there. All right, in order to execute it, I'm going to use the same statement variable. This time I'm going to use the execute command and we'll pass in the variable up here, product line, but this time we'll put it in square brackets. All right, so now that I've executed the query, I want to check to see if any rows were returned. 
So if any rows are returned, then we are going to just display a message. If no rows, then we will insert our record. So how do we check to see if any rows were returned? We're going to say if the statement row count parentheses is greater than zero, we will then display a message. And then this next piece, the if no rows were inserted, we'll just say else. And if this is true, we will insert the record. Okay, so on this first one, we'll just have a message that says the product line, and then I'll put in curly brackets, the product line variable already exists. And to add a little bit of accentuation, I'll put a bold tag before and after, make sure you close the bold tag properly. And then rather than having to create this message again, I'll just copy it below and say the product line, specifically the product line that we typed in, was successfully inserted. All right, so how do we insert the product line? Well, we need to create a query, and this query is going to be that insertion query. So insert into product line, and then we will put name here, and then values, we'll put a question mark. So then we can just come up here and copy the prepare query and execute it again. And as you can see, it's going to prepare this query we've created. It will then execute, substituting this question mark right here with this product line variable. And then we'll get this message saying that the product line was successfully inserted. And then we will put our message right here. So we'll have a div, and inside this div, we will put our PHP code to be able to echo this message. Echo the message and close our PHP code. So now I'm going to come over here. If I type in the Indian product line, it'll say the product line Indian was successfully inserted. If I do it again, it'll say the product line Indian already exists. And if I go to my lecture schema, specifically the product line table, the table data, we will see that the Indian product line indeed has been inserted.